Thank you very much. Uh, just a quick follow-up from me, um, I guess in the more general, on the sole purpose test. Um, my memory is that you announced you were going to review it in 18. Have, has that come to a conclusion? Did I just miss it or has that not come to a conclusion yet? So there was a Productivity Commission um, recommendation that said that there would be some merit in some more clarity around the sole purpose test and the best financial interest duty. We had undertaken, we had some guidance on the sole purpose test and its application, which But we, that was quite old, my It was quite old and we were undertaking work to update it. Right. That work has been superseded by the government's measures under the Your Future, Your Super Bill okay. to introduce to change the best financial interest duty and the application of that duty. And so we, at this stage, are not proposing to release updated guidance on the sole purpose test until the landscape settles. And even then, there's a question as to whether we would need to provide additional okay. guidance. OK. So that's something we'll, we'll need to follow up in future. Um, so effectively, people in the financial advice industry and the super industry would still look to the old guidance? Uh, yes, and, and a lot of the substance in the old guidance is, is still appropriate. Um, it's just somewhat dated and written in a very different way to the way we would write guidance today. Okay. All right.